13 artists from across South Africa have converged at the Henley Business School in Joburg to not only transform the campus public space under the theme resurgence, but themselves as well. Artists are not really fully engaged with the business side of art. So we touch on bringing artists into corporate spaces and bringing artistic ideas into a skills development workshops as well to use their creative um, ideas, uh, whatever they can do, skills, work, handwork, basically to just kind of find ways to develop themselves in the areas that they, they are in. As an artist, you're, you're, you run your own business and I think that is what a lot of artists don't realize is that you are a business, you are your own brand and there's a lot of things, all the considerations of running a business is what you have to consider if you're an artist and you want to make a living. Creativity is one thing that you cannot leave behind, you know, it's, it's, we, we, need, we need creative inputs and ideas into business because now we are changing into the fourth industri industrial re revolution, which I believe, you know, creativity is one of the top things that should be considered. For me, it's a, it's a meeting of the minds, uh, the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain. It's very important to use both sides and artists usually just use one and business oriented people usually just use one side of their brain as well. So I think it's vital um, for, especially for our country to move forward and especially for the creative arts to find that balance um, on both sides, to find that understanding on both sides. So yeah, I'm appreciative to, to Henley for this opportunity. We have a thrust at Henley on um, giving priority or leverage to the creative industries and to creativity in general. And the reason we do that is because we think in a, an economy like ours, which has been based on mining, and uh, digging things out of the ground and sell them and the other associated industries. The future is not in those capabilities, but the future is more in creative abilities. We want to bring creative acumen to business and business acumen to creativity. So what we're doing here is symbolizing, if you like, our emphasis on creativity by getting fantastic street artists and up and coming contemporary artists to take this very staid traditional sort of image of a Cape Dutch architecture and adding street funk vibrancy and a, and a picture of the new emerging young Africa, symbolizing how we will grow together, uh, both in education and in the economy and as a society. Yeah, you can see the colors are a little bit bright. It's the final step of a resurgence. I started by two colors, the sadness color, which is blue and uh, dark, black and white. As in life, sometimes we can meet a different type of uh, situation. We can be sad. When a woman is, is next to you, they can inspire you to help you to go to resurgence, to rise again in life. As you can see, there's a lot of maps, pinpoint locations, and it also ties to my own experiences as moving from one place to another, beginning again, you know, new friends. Sometimes my own choice, sometimes not. It's basically one woman, but it's multiplying. So it symbolizes the double strength of a woman. And she's carrying a village, you can see, the rendezvous. And she's covered by the blankets of different cultures. And our purpose is certainly not to slap MBAs on people, make them feel great about themselves, strut around and have a corner office and tell people what to do. Our purpose is to reduce the Gini coefficient. The Gini coefficient is a relationship between the most rich and the most poor in the society. And in South Africa, we have the second highest Gini coefficient in the world after Lesotho, which means that we have a lot of very rich people and masses of poor people. The purpose of business must surely be to reduce that Gini coefficient, to give education to people so that we can really engage um, in, in growing their lives, providing schools and roads and services, good businesses that use money well, that provide opportunity for everybody, give hope to people based on their skills, not on who they know. And so a part of our philosophy here is, is simply to engage with the context of South Africa and a business school should be able to help build the economy. Hi, my name is Chief Justin and you're watching Joe Today.